Mike Pacelli here, coming to you from my studio in the south of France. Greetings and warm salutations to you and yours. Uh, for this lesson, I'll be talking about the Beatles smash hit, She Loves You, recorded July 1st, 1963. Um, John and Paul started writing it at a, a hotel in uh, Newcastle, and then they finished it the next day at Paul's uh, family house. When they got done, they immediately played it for uh, Paul's dad, who suggested they sing, she loves you, yes, 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 because that was proper English. Uh, luckily, the lads didn't listen to Paul's dad because yeah, yeah, yeah became, you know, the catchphrase of Beatlemania. Uh, the woos in the song come from the Isley Brothers, uh, Twist and Shout, which the Beatles did all the time in their live performances. Um, it was the first third-person song that the Beatles ever wrote. It was Paul's idea because, you know, John was more inclined to write about himself. But Paul, being more of a storyteller, decided, you know, it would be cool to have like a message song instead of all the songs being about I, I, I. It was recorded on the two-track recorder. Uh, they put uh, vocals on one track and, and music on another. And then they were mixing it down to, to a mono mix, um, EQing it on the way however they wanted. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of uh, uh, edits because they used three reels of tape to do this in a five-hour session. Um, but if you listen... Um, before the guitar lick, right after they say, you know it should be glad about a minute and 15, I think, in the song, you could hear some edits, um, because you could hear flams, especially in Paul's bass on the original mono mix. Um, and also uh, before uh, Pride Can Hurt You Too, which is after that, and I think around 1.30, um, before they sing, she loves you, there's, there's, there's edits. Nevertheless, they put it all together, and you know, they created a great, great record. Uh, unfortunately, the, the original two-track was lost because EMI used to just, once they do mono mixes, they'd get rid of the, uh, they'd erased the, uh, the original two-track recording, which is a drag. Um, George Martin thought that the six chord that the Beatles used on the end was corny, and he didn't want to do it. Luckily, again, the Beatles didn't listen, and because uh, that six chord is very, very cool. Um, Jeff Emmerich tells a cool story. Uh, he says that, that there were girls who got past the EMI security and were running in, trying to get into the studio when the Beatles were recording. And that bit of uh, Beatle mania really, you know, pumped up and charged, charged the lads to give an even more spirited performance on, on every take. Uh, this was the song that, uh, that uh, thrust them into the international uh, fame and, and British uh, national success uh, at, and, and really started, started a, a Beatle mania. What I find extremely interesting is the, the interplay between uh, uh, George and John on guitar. They're very smart in the use of different chords and different voicings and different rhythms. Um, so uh, with all that said, let's take a look at She Loves You. On the recording of She Loves You, John Lennon is playing an acoustic guitar, his Gibson J160E. For this lesson, I'll be using a Rickenbacker 325. That's what you see John play on all the live videos of She Loves You. Um, it's a short scale guitar, uh, kind of difficult to play if you have giant hands like mine. <laughs> but I have it plugged into a 1963 Vox AC30, and it's also going through the Universal Audio Aux to simulate a Neumann U67 on an additional Vox cabinet. So that's how I'm getting the sound. Um, it starts off on an E minor bar chord, like this. To an A bar chord. To a first position C. And then a jangly beetle G. I call it that because it has two D's and two, two G's in his voicing. They use that voicing a lot. Now, uh, John is just strumming it, up and down strumming like a, an acoustic guitar, normal, you know, down up strum. And he's doing it along with Ringo's hi-hat. It's creating a great rhythm. He's driving the band so hard right from the, you know, right after that drum fill. John is just, that acoustic is driving it along with the hi-hat. So it's just basically up and down strumming like this. It 
it's just great. I mean, it's just like plowing along. Um, there's some slight accents, of course, because as you change chords, there's a little accents, but for the most part, when it starts, it's just down and up strumming, which we'll see a little later too. So the verse is a, a G to a first position E minor to a B minor to a John Lennon four note banjo chord. Add voicing and repeats. E minor. And just strums again, you know. It's a fun, it's a fun part to play. Uh, back to G. E minor and then C minor. Here's the C minor. And now listen to the mono mix. This is where you can really hear what John's playing on the acoustic. It's just strumming. Where it goes to the D. So. Now the second time that happens, uh, he, he, he plows a little harder on the lower notes, you like it? Like that on the G and the E minor. Um, but he has a way of doing it where when you watch him live, he's just still with the down and up, but he's accent, it's accent, it's almost like he's hitting the low notes on the way down, and when he comes up, he's hitting the low notes up here. So like. And straight strumming on the C minor to the D. Now on the chorus, the second time, or it's the refrain, if you want to call it that, um, he doesn't go up to this E minor. He plays the the basic a, E minor here. Yeah, yeah. And then for the A, he plays this A, just a first position A. Like that. So she loves you. And three hits on the C minor. Just great strumming along again, really playing with Ringo and pushing the band. Um, let's see, and at the very end, uh, you know, it's the three times with the hit. The G. Play G, E minor, to the first position C. And then even though they sing that sixth chord, John plays a straight G. Alright? So Just so much fun to do. Um, so again, if you have a you know two guitar band, just have your your rhythm guy just just up and down strumming along with the hi hat, and you'll get that that beetle thing. You know that beetle just jangly thing. A lot of fun to do. For George Harrison's part, I'm playing this uh, Gretsch country classic, and it's uh, plugged into the uh, 1963 Vox AC30. Now what's so amazing is the Beatles recorded this song five days after they wrote it, so there's a good chance George Harrison heard it for the first time in the studio. And yet he comes up with these great parts. Okay, song starts off, uh, he plays the same E minor as, as uh, John did. Same A. He plays his C chord like this. And his G chord like this. You see him wrap his finger around on live videos a lot, but it always looks like he's just playing the bottom four strings. Coolness about it is that he's using a cool uh, syncopation. He's, he's anticipating uh, the, the last yeah and beat four of that measure. So it's like regular strums like, 
Um, she loves you. Let's see. Hear that? So it's like uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, and four. All right. And then this classic George Harrison lick. <laughs> I love that. Uh, he plays it with his third finger. I, I do it better with my fourth. Uh, it's just in fourths. You can actually play it with one finger if you wanted, you know. <laughs> but it's just great. It fits perfect. And, uh, you know, uh, enjoy playing it. Okay, during the verse, he's, he's playing his G to an E minor, and then he plays um, his B minor, a little thinner than John's. John plays a full B minor. He, he plays, George plays a B minor like this. Right? And then he plays, uh, while John is playing his uh, banjo chord, George plays a D7. And there's some, uh, you know, good rhythmic variations here that George is doing like this. Um, That was a little overemphasized. It's more like this. That's closer. <laughs> this is such a good plan. And then on, because she loves you, he's playing these uh, iconic walk downs. Because she loves you. <laughs> first one's over G and it starts on the and of two so it's one two and three four one two uh, three one two and three four one two three and then when they go to E minor he starts on B3 E minor one two three four one two and there's charts and tabs available uh, at mikebuchelli.com if you want to get this uh, more clearer than I'm probably explaining it, <laughs> but I can play it. And you know, it's, because she loves you. And then uh, strumming on the C minor. She just plays again like like the B minor, just basically you know four strings. That one. And that great like. <laughs> Uh, second verse, same as the first. And... Okay, then back to She Loves You, up to the E minor. verse same as the regular verses okay and then at the very end George does some really cool things um, so at the very end when it goes three times on the C minor George has a cool little lick it's so that's just uh, uh, on the low string on sixth string fret three to fifth string fret five fret two open of the sixth string so Now it gets interesting. And they play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C. Now at the beginning when they're yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> they go E minor to A. So on the G, he, uh, George plays the regular. And they go to E minor, and he plays this. Now, I, I, I'm speculating, I almost think that he worked that out for the beginning, yeah, 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 on the A, because that works more on an A. But George walks down to an E, so he goes... It's 
This is so great. And then he plays a C, and he makes it a flat five. C triad, and a regular G. So this C is like inside C, and then you take the uh, fifth of the chord, move down a half step. C triad. It's just so great. So that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Just amazing, smart, very cool rock and roll. Okay, uh, for reference and uh, for some fun, I put it all together, so uh, check this out. She loves you, yeah. And that's how you play She Loves You by The Beatles. If you'd like to drop me a line, do so at MikePacelli.com. It's always cool to hear from you, and I answer every email. And please subscribe to this channel. And remember, when you play songs like She Loves You, have fun doing it, because that's what playing guitar should be all about. Until next time, take care.